So today I got this relay. It's called the timer relay. It's got uh, the timer on it. This is the circuit diagram. This is the back side. It has got uh, six pins. Each pin is numbered. I hope I can show you. Like one, two, three. You can see the number eight, number six, number three, number two. So basically the working for this relay is straightforward. Uh, you change the time with these buttons and you change the scale of the time using the red digits. So here I can set it to this S which means seconds. This is point 0.1 seconds, like seconds, minute, minute and point 0.1 hour like that and hours and minutes. So whatever the digits are here. The number is here. It uh, will be like uh, considered as a minute. And this is this will be like eight hours. Same goes for this side. You can change this the time scale here. Point one is second minutes and like that. So I'll leave it to the seconds. More seconds. So basically it says it is like a kind of a start and a stop but I think it is uh, more of a single relay turning on and off at the given intervals. Sorry for the camera. So yeah one confusing thing in here is was this diagram. There was nothing checked over here. So I was very skeptical that what should be the source as the source says it should be the plus and the minus and it goes like pin number two and pin number seven so I first tried with the 12 volts and 24 volts but as I bought this relay for 220 volts AC so when I made sure that it's not working on the DC 12 and 24 volts I went for the AC voltage which is 220 and it's working fine <laughs> So you will have to uh, start this relay with, uh, by powering up this, uh, these two pins which will be the source of all the circuitry inside including the relay. So another thing is this adapter which I bought separately. It comes, uh, sometimes it comes with the relay too. And you can see there are the numbers on this uh, adapter. So it's uh, very handy to connect the wires afterwards. So let's connect it. I've already connected uh, wires 7 and 2. It's shown in this diagram. Uh, so that I may connect it to the power later on. So the power is connected now. With pin number 2 and pin number 7. Because it is the source. Here's the relay. Here's my 220 volt supply. As you can see that with the camera, the LEDs are blinking. Which means it's not a DC. Okay, so I'll put this uh, wire in. Wire one. And wire two. And there it goes. The time is set to eight seconds. And you will hear the click sound. Yeah, the LEDs are a bit faulty, sorry for that. So it will go for like 8 seconds in here. And 6 seconds on the other side. So what happens, if I remove the power right now, the relay is just like uh, turning on and off for different intervals. So if you can see, I'll, I'll just remove the, if you can see back onto this diagram, pin number 5 and 8, it's normally connected. So when this time is on, the relay is normally connected. And when this time is on, the relay pin number 6 and 8, which is normally disconnected, gets connected 
when the time from the other side not this one the other side t2 which i mean t2 yeah this time so the pin when this time is running pin number six and pin number eight are connected so it depends on your application what you're going to do with it and it will uh, function accordingly and the other things i'm i don't think like i need them here here because sorry because it is get and reset pin i believe the reset pin will reset the time if you want to reset it like uh, if the time is long in hours you'll just push some button and it will reset the time to the zero so it, it will be for that so i'll not be using that one so this is it so main things are it is running on 220 volts ac like its main uh, circuitry even though it's written like the source is positive and the negative so in ac there is no positive or negative so with this diagram it still runs on 220 volts because i bought it for it and the other uh, connections will be with uh, pin number five six and eight so that's thanks for watching please comment uh, like and subscribe thank you